Hi, my name's Aaron, I'm with the Save Our Bobbies campaign. I'm here with a local resident, Keris, who's lived uh, in Vagrature all her life. Let's talk to her about what she thinks about the, uh, the police privatisation that's trying to go through this, this week. Hi guys, thank you so much for, for joining us. Okay. Um, so tell me, tell me a story. Of what do you think about this uh, privatisation of the police force? Um, to be honest, I'm really a bit worried about it. I mean, you know, we've seen other things be privatised before. Uh, my mum worked uh, as a cleaner in a hospital and that was privatised. And it just, you know, these companies don't really care about the people that work for them. Mm. They don't really care about the service they're providing. And, you know, the police in Fakefordshire provide a really good service to, to local residents. And they, they really care and they're from the area. And I, I think that's, so I think it's pretty worrying, to be honest. And what would you say? If one of the sort of security for you are going to put a tender, my bid for this this contract, I and mean, what, what would happen? What would you say if they actually managed to get this contract and run up police stations and services? I mean, aren't they the really dodgy ones? You know, that keep mm. messing up at things and they're always going over budget. I mean, it just you know the police in our area have always done a good job. My house was burgled a couple of years ago, and you know the officers really um, they, they didn't just try and solve the crime. You know, they came and sat with me. My mum's a bit older, they made, you know, made her a cup of tea, and that kind of stuff's quite important, actually, and mm. it makes you feel a lot safer, even when something like a burglary's happened. So, mm. I mean, I don't really know anyone's security for you, but what I've heard isn't, isn't that good. Yeah, um, and have you heard any other residents or family? Do they still, are they supporting our campaign? Yeah, I mean, everyone on our streets got, um, is kind of on board with the campaign, We've got your kind of posters up and that kind of thing. So, yeah, I mean, everyone in, everyone in our area is, is wants to back our bobbies. Fantastic. So, as you can see, there's so much support here at Bakefordshire for, to save our Bobby. So, if you haven't signed a petition, sign now. We've only got a couple of hours to go. And so, this is Aaron from Save Our Bobby's campaign. Thank you so much to Keris. And sign our petition right now. Save our Bobby's.